up guys, it's Shani, and today we are at the United State of Women's Summit in LA. I'm super excited to be here because I get to see so many different strong, powerful women talking about their different backgrounds and stories. I'm so happy to be a part of it, and I'm excited to see all the different panels because the ones that I got to pick out are hit close to home, and I'm just excited to like learn and, you know, like I said, get inspired. Hopefully we get to see Michelle Obama. There were so many panels throughout the day, but the one that I chose was the Time's Up panel. The reason why I chose the Time's Up panel is because it hits close to home, and the fact that I want to go into this industry, like it's good to know and good to get educated on. So they asked everyone in the panel, what makes us determined? And then I sat down and I thought about it, and I'm like, what does make me determined? And what makes me determined is encouraging and inspiring other girls to stand out and be themselves and to not be scared and to speak up for themselves. Another thing I learned in the panel was since the invention of film, 98% of stories have been told by men. You know, I just started my YouTube channel for fun, but now I'm realizing how important it is. I'm telling my story and I'm inspiring other girls to tell their story as well. The highlight of the day was seeing Michelle Obama. When she came on stage, everyone started screaming. Everyone was going crazy. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I got a little teary-eyed a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Being here, I'm like, whoa. Michelle Obama was in the same room as me. So there is another panel tomorrow at ATV, and it is a panel about how Gen Z, my generation, is gonna change the world. So I invited all the girls, hoping that this panel just inspires us so we can Squash all this petty, unnecessary beef. What matters to Gen Z and what spurs Gen Z to action in your mind? I think we're more empathetic, and that's because we've been exposed to a lot more at a younger age. I know as social media has definitely opened the world up to other people and seeing viewpoints that you don't see as often. And so we do connect with people and a part of that is when people, we see people suffering, we want to help that, we see something wrong, we want to change that. And so that's definitely galvanized my generation to make change. Things have only begun to change quicker with that introduction of technology and we've embraced it. We've said, okay, we're gonna move with it and we're gonna work with it, which is I think what allows us to be so much more empathetic. And so when it comes to understanding other people and understanding and trying to be there for them, I think it's also important that we let them speak for themselves. And so as, just as we're using social media and we are amplifying others, I wanna make sure we're amplifying their voices and we're letting them tell their own stories because there is a certain level where you won't understand. But that's why we have to keep sharing our stories and why we have to make sure those who have those lived experiences are the ones telling their stories and so we can all learn from that and grow as a community. We've said, okay, I want to learn more about you. I want to understand you. Or just saying, no, I'm willing to share so that we can come from a different place and hopefully get to a better outcome. Because I think we've seen that saying you don't understand where I'm coming from just isn't productive. Ready, go. <gasps> You're so cute. Oh, those are cute. I like this. Just warning you, Victoria's coming down. Too bad little Miss Vivian had to ruin everything. That makes it so much easier for me to just put her out on my life. But I'm actually done with that. I'm done. I'm telling you. The next time I see her, she'll Next know. time I see Victoria, it's over. I have to go talk to her. Hey, can I sit? Yeah. What do you think is happening in there? I just like since Vivian like 
told us that she's just done with like everything that's been going on with Victoria. It just sucks because like that really means our friendship with like them both is over. Yeah, um, Victoria told me that too. Like, like the next time she'd see Vivian, like you know, the friendship would be over. And I feel like that not only break them up, it break us up because yeah. then we'd have to like choose. I feel like I especially try to like be the middleman and try to. I think all of us because. When we all like technically grew up together. No, yeah, and it just sucks that like it has to end because yeah. of a boy. How'd you like the conference? It was really good. I feel like we should like, you know, talk about stuff because I feel like we've pushed everything aside. So we literally like closed ourselves to just one thought. Like something so little became so big. Like, you mean so much more to me than all this drama. I like look at, look back and I'm like, what? What happened? Yeah, we were so close and how we bonded and mm -hmm. we went to Mexico and that felt so nice and I yeah. loved that. And right after it kind of like turned around and we were back at each other like, why? I feel like we were just so stubborn with each other. Well, I just kind of like got upset because like you were posting photos with Matt and stuff. It just like bothered me and I was just being immature about it. Yeah, and then when you unfollowed me, I was like, yeah. whoa. I acted like it didn't bother me because I didn't want that to like stop you because that's childish, but then like it was too much for me. Like, you know. And honestly, I didn't think it would get to that point so quick. Yeah. And the fact that everything was going on and I was talking to IRM and Shani and I just told him like, I can't, I can't be friends yeah, with someone like thing. that. You know, like, yeah. I think this just like put us like in a good mood and like set the tone for us to talk. Yeah, that's why like we needed this. Like this, ha this happened for a reason. Yeah. And I think we both needed to be here yeah. and really listen to it to mm -hmm. realize like we were being so dumb. Yeah, I agree with you. Over a guy, I'm not gonna lose a friend. Yeah. I've missed you and I've missed having our little talks. I didn't oh. really know who to go to for advice, you know. I recently lost my cousin and I found out that I didn't get into NYU and it hurt because I was just closing myself and yeah. I was shutting myself out from a lot of people's lives and I didn't know who to talk to. I think we should be old enough to put things aside when something like so tragic happens in someone's life. Like we need to grow up. And even if you wanted to later, you could always apply later yeah. in two years. Or even if you wanted to like this year, you could apply to like the winter or mm -hmm, spring exactly. se semester. Yeah. You see, this is what I miss. I feel like with everything that we've been through, we should be empowering each other. And there are so many people that look up to us. Yeah. And we're gonna look back at this and we're gonna regret it. Yeah, there, first of all, there's so many other things in our lives that are happening that are so positive. Yeah, exactly. And like we're focusing on something like so small and it's so negative. Like we just need to suck it up. Exactly, yeah. and forget about it because it's really not worth it. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we're friends again. <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> it's so disappointing, <laughs> but I don't know. I'll just see what happens. Hey guys. Hi. Nice to see you. Okay, I'm gonna just, you know, state the obvious. So, like, what's up? Like, with you guys? We're good. We're good. <laughs> we talked about it, and I feel like with the speakers, it helped just to motivate the talk to happen and I feel so much better yeah because I mean us fighting didn't just like cause problems between us two but it like affected everyone like everyone had to keep secrets from each other like kind of choosing sides yeah. and it tore us apart and like over something so little like a fight over a boy really and what yeah. we have is a lot bigger than little problems like that and I feel like we've connected so much that we were saying like over something like that, like it's really not worth it. You've known Vivian longer. You know, you have a more relationship with her. So like, I would choose Vivian too. We've made so many memories. Like we literally grew up together. We have a bond that's like, it's different. completely it's different than anyone crazy. else. No. Yeah, we've been through a lot, all yeah. of us. I feel like we've made so many memories, like ever since the start, 
I feel like it would be dumb of us, Did like, to all, it? like, give this all Have up, it all man. thrown away. Sisters yeah. fight, but they get back together. Exactly. Yeah. We've gone through the hardest times. Like, high school's the worst. Yeah. No, for real. We have, like, a different bond that I wouldn't be able to find with anybody else, and I don't, I definitely don't have with anybody else in my school, in my life at all. And not even that, like, I'm surrounded by, like, strong, beautiful women. It just, like, inspires me to be a strong, beautiful woman. And I love that so much. And you guys have at least helped me so much with my personal life. Oh no, yeah, same. And I really can't, yeah, I really yeah. can't go to anyone else. I love that. I love the trust that I have and the Between bond. We've yeah. really grown. If I didn't have you guys, I'd probably, you know, still be in a toxic relationship, but that's just tea. <laughs> and now we're all going to college. I got one more year. But I feel like we're not going to be able to see each other like as often as we would, obviously, because you guys are all going to be busy and I'm going to be still in school like full time. So hopefully we can all still be friends and like keep each other in check whenever. No, oh, yeah, we, we of course we have to. We don't really realize what we could do, but I feel like we could do some crazy things. Hopefully one day we can be up there doing the panels, talking. And I feel like there's not a lot of, there's not enough Hispanic girls our age you know, making, a, making difference. a difference. Right, so yeah. I think it would be good for us to do something like something, that if we yeah. have the chance. I agree, and we shouldn't let anything come between us. Boys, marriage, I'm thinking Kids. ahead. Kids, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, we're soulmates, guys. You've all helped me go through a lot. Like, and that's when I knew, like, yeah, these girls are like, they're gonna change my life. They're my sisters, you know. No, we're all here and I feel like Life happens, and we all found a way to come up from it. Yeah. Just imagine how much like closer we're gonna get after this. This means a lot. I love you guys so much. Yes. Besties for the resties. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad. Like, oh my gosh, no. oh my word. Ah! Okay, no, get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Growing up comes way too fast. We hope everyone learned after watching today's episode that all friends have their ups and downs and fight. I've learned from my mistakes and I hope you do too. I want to treat people with kindness and respect. I want to surround myself with love. I want to be the person someone goes to when they need to feel better about themselves. Please, if you're suffering with a bully, do not give the bully any power by ruining your day. Simply remove them out of your life. Don't let anyone dull your light and shine like the stars you all are. I love you all so much, and if you're struggling with bullying, you can always message me and tell me your story. We at LAQ stand strong against bullying on any form and want you all to live a beautiful, happy, and kind life.